What's up guys, welcome back to another video guys. I have something special for you guys today. Um, I will be getting some new baby turtles. They're like really, really common, honestly, but I love them so much, so I decided to get them. Um, it's not a ready to slide if you guys are thinking that, not nearly that, but uh, guys, is a common snapping turtle. If you guys do not know, some of my OGs who used to watch my old videos from last summer, guys, I had this turtle named Browser, right? He was like this big. I had got him in 2021. And uh, yeah, I got him as a birthday present, guys, and with a couple of iguanas. And uh, guys, he was just the best turtle ever. He would eat, his food response was crazy. Um, he got big. Um, it just took him a little while to put on some size because I got him from the size of this to like this in two years, which was crazy. But yeah, we're starting that journey all over again. Um, so uh, I'm about to start their new enclosure. So I'm gonna show y'all how I do that. And probably tomorrow's video, we're gonna be setting them up and like putting them in their new enclosure. So today, let's just set up their enclosure. And let's get into it. All right, and those of you who are new here, guys, y'all might be having this baby snapping turtle as well. Might be getting one, might be giving it to a family member or something like that, guys. I just want to show y'all how to properly do it. Um, what you do need is a UVB lamp. You're going to need some sand for them because what I learned with the baby snapping turtle is if you leave them bare bottom for a long period of time, their skin starts to get messed up. It's just way healthier for them to have sand so that can burrow into it. And, uh, and it helps their skin out a lot. Because my snapping turtle browser will always get like these little sores without having sand. So uh, yeah, I guess sand really helps them out. Um, it holds like a lot of bacteria in the sand. And I guess that just heals the turtle skin. And uh, yeah, in the wild, they like to dig real deep into like the mud and stuff. That's why when you see people out in the wild catching them, they always have a bunch of mud on their bodies and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing in captivity. Kind of like redoing it. I don't know the word, but you guys know what I'm saying. We're trying to recreate it in captivity. There we go. So, uh, yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get on with the build. All right, guys, just like that, we have the sand and water in this enclosure. Um, it is a lot of water and sand in here. It's just really, really murky, and I'm not trying to fill it all the way up to here. Um, these are baby snapping turtles, so they don't need as much water as you guys may think. Um, their sand layer is probably like that deep. So what I'm going to do now is get some plants, some rocks, some sticks and stones, put it all in here so we can decorate it, make it look nice. You guys, look at this baby green iguana right here. Look at him, he's just out basking today, guys. My animals have just been getting so much tame to me. Let's see what I do if I put my hand right here. Hi, boy. How are you doing? See if we can pick him up real slowly. There you go. All right, and that's it. This is all the interaction I need right now. Back up, <laughs> he's gonna run. All right, guys, I wanted to show y'all how tamed Raya has become. Like, literally, guys, I just been training her in a totally different way. So, I want to show y'all what I've been doing, and she's been like actually coming to me, like what I call her. All right, guys, so I got Raya some food. Let's go in here, and guys, I've just been sitting down here on the floor. Let me set y'all up. I'm just gonna set y'all up basically. So, let me close this door behind me. Why you? <laughs> Come on, why you? Why you? Come on, why you? Legit taming my, my dragon. So, 
There she goes. <laughs> she, she's out. All right, guys. So y'all got to see Raya kind of sort of getting trained again. But guys, if y'all haven't watched the last video, guys, go watch it right here. That was me training my baby Asian water monitor, guys. She is just doing amazing here. Um, ever since I moved and put her inside, she has just been so much calmer and patient. And I've learned to be more patient with her as well. So that's another reason why she's tame, guys. You gotta be really, really patient with these lizards. And uh, yeah, so I've just been sitting on the floor, sitting in this little rock right next to her pond, and just tapping the ground like this, and doing them little like crop calls. And she comes straight up to me. So uh, it's pretty cool, guys. I'm gonna start feeding her a lot more. I'm trying to get her bigger and uh yeah but that's basically it so i'm gonna pick y'all back up in like about four to five not like yeah i was about to say four to five hours no that's way too long probably like 40 minutes um i have to get a filter and stuff like that for the pond and then we can decorate once the water gets a little bit clearer so i'm so excited for these baby common stabbing turtles to be coming into my possession guys and uh yeah it's gonna be a journey they're gonna start off from this big and then soon y'all gonna see Literally, they'd be like 40 pounds. It's gonna be crazy. So uh, yeah, guys, basically it. Yeah, I'm gonna catch All right, y'all, change of plans. Um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna use that little container right there for my baby snapping turtles. I'm actually gonna try to fix up this tank and use it, as you guys can see. I just re-siliconed all of the cracks. So uh, yeah, down here, I had a big crack before. I sealed it up with silicone and it surprisingly worked. And I'm gonna try it again, we have a new crack, so hopefully it works this time. I sealed it in through the outside right here, and then we sealed it on the inside and out. So uh, yeah guys, I'm gonna put it back up here on the shelf, and uh, guys, I just feel like when I walk in, it would just look so much better because it's like, it's a clear glass enclosure. I can have the rocks do the escape a little bit better, have some logs and stuff in there, and then have the light beaming down to them like their UVB. So uh, I feel like it would be a lot nicer. So. Uh, that's what we're gonna try to do. And then without further ado, let's put it back up here. Yeah guys, that's gonna close out today's video. I hope y'all absolutely enjoy. Um, and I'll catch y'all on the next episode. Peace out.